Yo, what's good, YouTube? This is Jay from TNJ, and welcome to the first ever playoff game here in the Nashville Stars franchise. Today, we will take on the division champs of last year in the World Series champs of last year in the Toronto Blue Jays. They have the MVP, Vladimir Guerrero Jr., who is going into a contract season after hitting 50-plus home runs. He is on his way to a big payday. This team is stacked at every single position. You name it. They have a awesome ace in Walker Buehler, who they signed in free agency to a $300 million contract. They drafted Dylan Cruz back in season one. He's at 87 overall now. And then remember, they have George Springer in the outfield. They re-signed T. Oscar Hernandez. They have Biggio. They have Bo Bichette. I mean, this is a loaded team we are going up against. Remember, they were in the division lead for Almost the entire season, it wasn't until the last month we took over the top spot in the AL East. And today we faced them in the postseason after they blew out the Yankees in the wild card game. The first matchup will be Alec Manoa versus Troy Quincy. Walker Bueller is tired from that wild card game, so he will not get the start today. So here we go. The first batter of the game will be Dylan Cruz, and he gets a hit to the right side and that one gets over the head of second baseman Tyler Black. Now Jimmy Sandoval is usually our starter at second base but here is the runner on the move that is Dylan Cruz and that is going to be a stolen bag by the second year pro. BGO continues his at bat here. Willie Adamas ground ball to him and a hard throw to first will get the runner. And now Dylan Cruz sits on second with the MVP at the plate. Vladimir Guerrero Jr., he gets under one, and that one is a high fly ball in the infield. Black has that one. Two outs is that's going to bring up Bo Bichette to the plate, hitting in that four spot. We all know his potential with his bat. He hit 33 home runs. I expect that's not going to be a career high. He gets a slider over the middle of the plate, and it will just be a chopper to short. And that one will be a good scoop by Kerry Doss at first base. No runs doing for the Jays. Willie Adamas leads off the game for the Nashville Stars. Facing Alec Manoa. He gets a hold of one down the right field line. That one will bounce over the wall for a leadoff ground rule double. And Adamas has been tearing the cover off the ball this year. As that brings up... Uh, Kerry Doss to the plate after a pass ball. Moves the runner over to third, and Doss goes to right field. It's 1-0 Nashville as Doss has a double. Back-to-back -back doubles to start this game for the Nashville offense. You got to love it here from Kerry Doss. I mean, AL Rookie of the Year last year, and now is turning into a superstar. As that brings up Rafael Devers. Oh, this lineup is dangerous here in the playoffs as he comes up to the plate and cannot do anything. But Dom Thompson-Williams, a really, really good player coming up to the plate. And we'll see what he can do with the runner in scoring position with one out. Alec Manoa, his 22nd pitch. And this one will be hit up the middle in a good play by the shortstop thrown on the first Bo Bichette, such a good defensive player. As that brings up Jacob McCarthy now with two outs. This one's low, and that one is going to be ball four. So now we have runners on the corners. Taylor Trammell, who's got home run power. A low pitch. He checks his swing, and the ump says he goes around. But one run across the plate here in the first inning. Now, Troy Quincy is a strikeout pitcher. Going into the playoffs, he's going to have to limit these hits given up. But we already know what he is, and he is a really good ace. But here's a deep fly ball to center field, and this one will be run down. Colin Ozuna gets the start in center field because of his ability to cover a lot of ground. As we move on to the third inning, this is going to be Lewis Brinson at the plate. And here's Quincy getting warmed up. He gets a strikeout on Brinson as the top of the order rolls over. Dylan Cruz back at the plate. He gets a nice hit to the left center gap, and that one will get down. Cruz will stay at first base, 
Now remember back in the first inning, Cruz swiped second. He's probably going to be looking to do it again. BGO 0 for 1 today. It looks like Cruz is on the run. Jorge Alfaro comes up throwing and he's out. Jorge Alfaro with that 99 arm behind the plate gets the runner. That's why he is so valuable to have as a defensive catcher. There's not many guys who can steal on him. BGO continues his at bat though, and this one's going to be through the right side, and that one will get to the outfield. Bringing up Guerrero Jr. to the plate 0 for 1 today, facing Troy Quincy, our ace, and that one will be the third out of the inning. Willie Adames comes back to the plate now in the bottom of the third inning. One for one with that leadoff double, and he will swing and miss at the high heat. As that brings up Kerry Doss now. One for one, and he absolutely destroys this pitch deep down the left field line, and it just curves foul. Wow, what a swing by Doss. Just missing a home run right there. And now he continues his at bat and cannot do anything. As that brings up Rafael Devers next, and he gets a hold of a pitch. This one's down the right field line. Will this stay fair? It does. An upper deck shot for Rafael Devers. You gotta love it, the power in this lineup. It is now two to nothing. Devers signed in the offseason two seasons ago, and he has been back to back top three MVP vote getter. And he has not disappointed for the second straight year. As that brings up Dom Thompson Williams, who turns on one also, but this one just hangs up in the air. And Hernandez will be under that one. But a 2 nothing lead going into the fourth inning off of the bat of Rafael Devers. You got to love what you see from this kid. On to the fourth inning. This is going to bring up Jacob McCarthy, who starts out the fourth with a hit up the middle. As that brings up the middle of our lineup here, Taylor Trammell hitting in that sixth spot. He hits one hard to the left side, but it's right to the third baseman, Biggio. And it will be a double play. Colin Ozuna to the plate next, starting in center field in game number one, and he will be behind that fastball, strike three. Ozuna's playing in center field for defensive purposes. I just love his speed and his ability to get after each fly ball. His reaction is impeccable. As Troy Quincy continues to pitch well on the mound into the fifth inning, the top of the lineup back at the plate again. Dylan Cruz, two for two, make it three for three. Dylan Cruz, such a good hitter at the top of this lineup for the Blue Jays. And you got to think, he's going to try to swipe this bag once again. We're ready for the steal again. Jorge Alfaro behind the plate. He's going to run on this one, but this time BGO swings, and that was a line shot to left field. The throw to third will not be in time. Dylan Cruz goes from first to third on a hit to left field. That's going to bring up Vladimir Guerrero Jr., the MVP. One out, ground ball. This one's fielded by Devers to second. On to first. We get out of it. It's a double play. A clean double play that time by the Nashville Stars. And it's still 2 to nothing here in the bottom of the fifth inning. Willie Adama is to the plate now. One for two in this one. That one's going to be a high fastball, and Alec Manoa will, will walk our leadoff batter. Bringing up Kerry Doss, who already has a double in this game and a RBI as he faces Alec Manoa with two outs. This is a hard line shot down the left field line. Screaming over the third baseman's head, BGO. It will get to the wall. Adames will stop at third. And now we have runners on second and third with Rafael Devers coming to the plate. He's already homer today. We'll see if he can do it again. One for two. A 3-2 pitch right over the middle. And that one is just hit hard right to Guerrero. Flip to the pitcher. And that one will be out. That was lucky. That pitch was right over the middle. Bo Bichette up in the sixth inning facing Troy Quinty, who is still on the mound, approaching 100 pitches on the game. And that one will be a chopper past Tyler Black. You can just see he's given up eight hits, five innings pitch, five strikeouts. But he has somehow found a way to get out of these little jams. Ground ball up the middle. Another ground ball and another double play. George Springer becomes a victim of the double play here in Nashville. And Troy Quincy is just being masterful with these pitches. 
Teoscar Hernandez comes to the plate, though. He swings that one way out of the zone, and how does he get enough wood on that to get a hit to the right field, to, to the right side, I should say, as that brings up Gabriel Moreno, another one of their young players, and he will ground out to Devers. And how about Troy Quincy not giving up any runs through six innings? On to the top of the seventh inning, Chris Taylor at the plate. They traded for him a couple of years ago, and he has paid off for them. Another good hitter in their lineup, and that one is the 108th pitch of the game. You got to think about pulling Troy Quincy, a great performance, but now it's time to bring in some help. We go to the bullpen, bring in another lefty. That's Robert Suzuki out of the pin. The first batter he faces will hit one hard to the right side. And that one will be a single. So now we are in a little bit of trouble. Men on first and second here in the top of their lineup coming up. Lewis Brinson gets the single, and it brings up Dylan Cruz, who is three for three today. He hits a chop at a short. This is going to be Dadamas on the second. On to first. It's a double play. That's one of the reasons why you start Tyler Black at second base. The strong arms of Adamas and Black turn that one. Two outs, bringing up Biggio, chopper to third, Devers, backhand, jump throw. It's going to be a great play by Devers. I don't even know what I was trying to say right there. Two nothing here for Nashville. Five hits to their 11. Our defense is showing up today. Jorge Alfaro to the plate. In the seventh inning, this one's crushed. It's a home run. Jared Ekoff comes out of the bullpen to relieve Manoa, and that one's not coming back. Jorge Alfaro, who's been with this team since the inception of this series, we have continued to ex extend his contract, and he has come through today. He's having a great defensive game, adding a home run, but now we move on to the eighth inning. Suzuki is still on the mound. Now he gives up a hit with one out. This is going to bring up George Springer. Hit down the right side. That one will get all the way to the wall. It's going to be fielded by Dom Thompson-Williams. They're going to wave the runner home. A hard throw to the plate. It's bang, bang. And the ump is calling Bichette safe at home. What a relay throw by Adames, I believe that was. And now it is three to one. Oscar Hernandez at the play. He hits one deep to left field. This one will hang up in the air. Tramiel will have this one. And that will be the second out of the inning. Two outs here. We still leave Suzuki in. Gabriel Moreno at the plate now, hitting in that seven spot. He is one for two today. And the 1-1 one -one pitch inside will be a blooper to center field. Will we get to it? And Colin Ozuna lets up at the last second. He could have made a diving effort at that one instead. Let's it drop. And now it is a 3-2 to two ball game here in game number one. Chris Taylor is one for three today. He hits one to second base. And Tyler Black will clean field this one cleanly. And we have a 3-2 to two ball game now. Toronto crawls back in this one. Now we move on to the bottom of the eighth inning. This could be our last ups here, and we do draw a walk with Jacob McCarthy here with one out. Taylor Trammell at the plate, 0 for 2. 51 pitches for Ekoff. McCarthy is on the move, and the throw is going to be low. Bichette can't field it cleanly either. As now we have a man in scoring position. Jacob McCarthy is such a good DH player. He can swipe bags. He can also hit very well. And Taylor Trammell continues this at bat. Hits one deep to center field. This one's got carry. It will get over to the batter's eye. It's a home run. Taylor Trammell, a 30 home run season for the first time in his career. And he hits his first ever playoff home run. And it's 5-2. to two. How about the power in this lineup? We are just absolutely crushing the baseball at this point. They bring in Zach Little to get them out of this inning. And Colin Ozuna has other ideas. He hits one well to left center. This one gets over the glove of Dylan Cruz, who led up at the last second. And he will have a triple here with one out. How about Ozuna at the plate? Finally showing that he can hang with MLB pitching. Tyler Black comes to the plate, though. Infield in. 
ground ball to short. Definitely not what you want to see there. At least a fly ball to the outfield. And they get out of that inning. No damage done. And now here we go. Pablo Moya comes in in the ninth inning for the save as he faces Lewis Brinson. The first batter will hit one well to the right side. Somehow he went to opposite field on that one on the inside fastball. And it's going to be a leadoff single. The man who has killed us all game long, Dylan Cruz to the plate. Chop it a third. Could it be two? It is another double play. How about the pitching and the defense in this one? And we are one out away from a game one victory. Biggio at the plate. He hits one well to right field. It's a home run. Good thing it wasn't still a one-run game. And Biggio hits his second home run of the postseason. That one was absolutely tattooed. Vladimir Guerrero comes to the plate now, and he will swing and miss. Hitless for the MVP in game one, and we will take it. A 5-3 victory here for the Nashville Stars, taking game number one. 16 hits for the Toronto Blue Jays, and they still lose. That just shows the defense, the situational pitching that we have. Troy Quincy gave up 10 hits. I mean, goodness. But we still end up with the win. A great game one victory here at home. We'll see if we can replicate that success next episode as we will play game two at home, then go on the road to face Toronto in game three. And we will see if we can continue to win here as Pablo Moya gets the save. Hit subscribe. Hit that like button. Playoff baseball is here. Stay tuned. Let's get it. Let's go. I like getting money. I got time to get it. Target on me, so my car's a tenny. Dancing with the devil, I don't bargain with it. Bobbing in a dash and the stick is with it. And I hit the four or five on the wet side. But I'm from the east side. This how we slide. This how we ride. Yeah, yeah. This how we ride.